EV charge ports explained unlocking the mystery. If you're thinking of getting an EV, at first the which charge port is which can be confusing. In this video, we show you what each charge port looks like and is. Plus what level of charge speed is compatible with it. For a battery electric vehicle, there are two different ways the vehicle can be charged. One is alternating current known as AC or direct current known as DC. EVs have an onboard charge converter that allow them to charge with an AC charging connection to fill the DC storage in the batteries. Via the onboard charger power converts from the grid AC power to DC power into the battery. Level 3 fast charging is DC electricity filling the DC battery storage. Here are some of the most common ones. J1772, this is the most common charging port used in North America for non-Teslas. It's a level 2 charging port that can provide up to 240 volts at 80 amps, which translates to up to 19.2 kilowatts of power. The J1772 connector has 5 pins and is typically used for charging at home or public charging stations. It's compatible with most electric vehicles, including the Nissan Leaf, Chevy Bolt, Hyundai EV6, Polestar and Tesla with an adapter. Europe Type 2, this is the most common charging port used in Europe. It's also a level 2 charging port that can provide up to 280 volts at 70 amps, which translates to around 7.7 .7 kilowatts of power. It's compatible with most European electric vehicles, including the Renault Zoe and BMW i3. CHADMO, this is a level 3 DC fast charging port that was developed by the Japanese automaker Nissan. It can provide up to 400 kilowatts of power in version 2. The CHADMO connector has 10 pins and is typically used for public charging stations in Japan and some parts of North America, though it is fading away in North America. CCS Type 1, this is a level 3 DC North American fast charging port. It can provide up to 350 kilowatts of power and is compatible with many electric vehicles like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Kia EV6, and the Volkswagen ID4. The CCS Type 1 connector has up to 9 pins and is typically used for DC fast charging at public charging stations in North America. CCS Type 2, this is a level 3 DC fast charging port that is used in Europe. It can provide up to 350 kilowatts of power. The CCS Type 2 connector has 7 pins and is typically used for public charging stations in Europe. Tesla Charge Port, this is both a level 2 and supercharging level 3 charging port, introduced in 2012, that is almost used exclusively by Tesla vehicles. The Tesla Mobile Adapter. A level 2 portable charger it can provide up to 48 amps, which translates to around 11 kilowatts and with an optional adapter can change what outlet it plugs into. Tesla also has its own network of superchargers, which are level 3 DC fast charging stations that can provide up to 350 kilowatts of power. The Tesla charge port has four pins and is typically used for charging at home or Tesla superchargers. The superchargers, which have recently opened to other electric vehicles and have a built-in smart adapter that will present a Tesla with a Tesla charge port or a non-Tesla a CCS1 port. In summary, charging times will vary depending on the charging port and the electric vehicle being charged. Level 2 charging ports, J1772 and Europe Type 2. Usually take several hours to fully charge an electric vehicle. Level 3 DC fast charging ports such as the Tesla port-based North American charging standard in ASIS, CHADMO, CCS Type 1 and Type 2 can provide, depending on the vehicle, a significant charge in 15 to 20 minutes. Tesla superchargers are the fastest charging option for Tesla vehicles and can provide up to 100 miles in 7 minutes and 200 miles of range in just 15 minutes. It's important to note that electric vehicles have different battery sizes and ranges, so the time it takes to charge an electric vehicle will vary depending on the battery size, charging speed supported on that model and the charging rate of the charging port being used. It's always best to consult the owner's manual or the manufacturer's website for specific charging times and specifications for your electric vehicle. If you need a more detailed explanation of the different charging levels, check out our EV charging levels explained video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.